Tuesday morning, Pickwick Early Childhood Center welcomed Congressman Dave Lobsack, who got his first look at the new facility. Principal Michaela O'Connell led Lobsack through a school that was bustling with activity in the middle of the day. Lobsack had a lot of good things to say about Pickwick. Oh, this is an amazing place. I mean, I had no idea there were this many preschool kids in one location. I had no idea that this particular facility is 45,000 square feet. It's as big as it is. Um, clearly, there's a demand for preschool in Ottumwa and in this community, in this area. As demonstrated here, they have, you know, a ton of students here. It's just quite amazing. And, and the programming that they're doing, I think, is really, really fantastic. Lobsack announced last week he will retire when his term ends in 2020. He discussed the thinking behind the decision. Long ago, when I first got elected, uh, I anticipated that uh, I'd probably stay no longer than 12 years if I were fortunate enough to keep getting reelected. Uh, I'm not a believer in term limits. I, I think that that's the wrong way to go. Um, but if there were to be term limits, 12 years makes a lot of sense to me. And so I didn't really have a great desire to go beyond 12 years. And then when, the pre when President Trump got elected, uh, first that drove me away and I thought, for sure I'm not going to be here more than 12 years. And then I started thinking that I really needed to run for re-election again to do what I could to you know, put a check on his worst impulses, quite honestly. The congressman sat with school officials and community members after the tour. When asked about funding concerns, Lobsack says people should disregard any budget the president proposes. He later elaborated on that statement. The president can propose a budget all he wants, but Chuck Grassley says that, you know, uh, the president proposes and, and, and we're the ones who dispose, we're the ones who decide in the Congress how much money we're going to spend on the different programs. And the president can veto whatever he wants. He can shut down the government, as he did for 35 days, and it didn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, I hope he's learned a lesson from that. Uh, because we do, in Congress, have bipartisan support for a number of these programs. And that's what I was referring to. Lobsack left Pickwick impressed and confident that while he's in office, facilities like this one will continue to get the funding that it needs. For Atomo Radio News, I'm Ellis Kojo.